Charter Flow World Sports Show, joined by head coach from Portland Thorns, Paul Riley. It doesn't grow off the tongue because you, you were with Philadelphia a couple years ago. But, you know, what, what do you think about the draft today? How do you guys feel leaving this draft? Well, you know, we came in looking for a, a player in each department, you know, maybe a hybrid player that could play different positions. Um, we didn't expect to get the goalkeeper out of the draft, which we did, which we're really happy about, Michelle Bados. And obviously Michelle's played for me as a kid, so to bring her back, I know she's a really good goalkeeper. She was under Hope Solo in Seattle last year, so to get her to Portland would be, you know, be great for us. We'd have to go look for a goalkeeper. Um, and Shim obviously was massive for us. We came in, if, would, would a number 11 be as good as Shim, you know? And we kept saying, there's no way, there's no way. So we gave up a little bit. We lost Nikki Washington in it, so we'd like to keep Nikki. Uh, but we lost Nikki, but you know I think we we kept Shim, and Shim was important for us. She was five goals, and hopefully in a, in a really great training environment, maybe she's seven, eight goals, and I think she'll be a big piece for us. Uh, you know, both uh, when the national team players are there and when they're not there. So we got Shim, we got Michelle, which was a which was a bonus coming in, and then obviously Emily Menges, who you know played for me as a kid in Albertson Fury, to bring her in. She's a defender. Uh, I, you know, I want to speak to Rachel about it because I think she can take her under a wing and make this kid really good. You know, she'd never been at ODP even as a, as a young lady, and then obviously she just got pulled into the U23 national team. And uh, now, you know, she, she's super athletic. I just got a, a text from her coach who said you got the steal of the draft. You know, I mean, she she's a really good defender and very difficult to beat one on one. And uh, talk about a modest young lady so I'm, I'm just hope she got the conference to play in Portland but I'm excited to get her there and again get her with Nikki Marshall and Rachel Bueller and, and uh, Kat Williamson and those type of players man I think she's going to really really improve and uh, get better and then we had the surprise package last you know I think we beat Boston to the punch with Sullivan from Mississippi State and We've seen a lot of her, you know, a lot of our, a couple of our best friends coach at Mississippi State, they, you know, told us about her a while back and we've been watching her progress and she's super athletic, good with both feet, can take players on and we definitely wanted to grab another forward in the draft, something that was explosive and when you don't have Morgan and Sinclair around, you need something that's going to be explosive. So, <laughs> couple um, good players, I've heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, she's going to come in obviously and she's going to, I think it's going to be a little bit of time to find her feet, especially in that lineup with, with those two up front. And, uh, but when they're away, you know, her and Jackie Acevedo, the Mexican, I think there's a great opportunity for the two of them to play. I think they can play together. And uh, whether we play two or three, I think we've got some good options. And we wanted a fourth pure striker. And not, you know, Shim can play up there, but I wanted Shim a little bit behind, maybe, maybe even as a second forward. So I think we got plenty of coverage. And, you know, we lost Tiff Wyman to get Sully, which was another blow because I would like to keep Tiff. But, the, you know, the problem for Tiff was we got seven in the midfield already. We're looking at one more. It's a, it's a, it's a, complicated midfield and yeah. you know once Tobin comes back you know you've got Amber you've got Ali um, you got Sinead I mean you've got a, a really good group of pros in there and I, I just said to Tiff I called her up after the draft and said you're better off in Washington you'll be the lead pro there you're playing with a lot of younger players and you'll play and she's a great pickup for them really in round four I think they did well out of that one i got to be honest with you and hopefully we will with Sully but I think it's best for Tiff. She's an East Coast kid, too. She can go back. She lives in Connecticut. So I think it was a good move for Tiff. And, you know, we're going to miss her. She's done well. She's got a great goal against Kansas in the playoffs for Portland. And uh, I just, you know, we got, a, we got a number of midfielders. And it was going to be a difficult season, I think, with that group for her. I well, know you're a busy man, Paul. I know you've got to get to a lot of, lot of duties. And I want to thank you for coming to the show. And, I mean, one last question. You give us a short answer. Do you feel more pressure going in as a defending champion? That's quite a takeover. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's obviously cindy has been talking to me a little bit, and uh, it's not an easy job to, to get involved. You know, she obviously won the championship, but you know, my thing is to, to win at home. We have to change the okay. home mentality. Yeah. That's the main thing. Well, thank you, Paul, for joining us. Appreciate your time. Wish you the best luck in Portland. Thanks, guys. Thank Good you. luck. Good luck.